Some of the try to rhyme, but they can't rhyme like this. Some of the try to rhyme, but they can't. Some of the try to rhyme, but they can't rhyme like this. Last episode for now, then. Well, no, we're not doing an episode. Too late. People are staring totally at me. Totally need a partner like that guy. Marcus. Do you notice there's a bit of a problem here? <gasps> How did... What? I don't think you could start traveling without getting out of the car. Yeah? Because we can travel with the car, the car will come with us. Watch, the car will be down the other side now. See? Huh. And now I can drive the car into town. Oh no, I can't because um, because um, of this reason right here. I'm crashing on the air. Apparently, there's a solid wall of air right here. Ooh, wow. I'm guessing the air is really thick right around here. Oh, I'll just leave my car there. How can we walk for it then? No, no, it's because it's it's thick for metal. Right, anyway, go for your smoke. Yeah. Go. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Borderlands 54. I've been recording for two minutes. Today, on the Borderlands 54, Danny tells me a story. Again? No, okay. Let's let's do some more questions. Okay, Danny. So, someone comes to you with melted ice cream that they've just brought from your store. What do you do? I don't have a store. It's a hypothetical question, you freak on. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm... Like, it's not my fault it's melted. What are you going to tell them? That, that is hardly my fault that they come back after it's melted. Can you stop blowing stuff up? The car's stuck as it is. <laughs> well, why did what? it drive down here? <laughs> I slipped off the mountain. Now it's even more stuck. Yeah, well, I thought maybe. If you just bounced off the car real quick. What, this isn't helping, is it? How the fuck are we gonna get it out? I'm gonna get a new one. It's gotta be a way to get this car out. I want you to know that it wasn't my fault the car stuck. Are you sure? I've got some bad news. You're dying. The car doesn't... There's no car anymore. <laughs> it went kaboom, Danny. It went kaboom. Something is trying to attack. It's a rat. Must, yeah. It's not my fault you were a dirty freesider. That was just a cigarette. The usual. Okay, here's a new question. An angry customer comes up to you and slams down a glass vase and it smashes everywhere. What do you do? Bitch slapper. <laughs> That's not very professional. <laughs> Plenty professional. I don't think you're getting the job, Danny. Damn it, the gun's in the way, I can't shoot the fuck. 
Then move your fucking car. Oh, now he's gone, you asshole. Had the perfect line of sight and just drove up and ruined everything. What? Uh, 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 oh. I'm getting jacks of her eye. Oh, Jack. You received mad Jack. What 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 weapon is that, Danny? This is my shotgun. Mad Jack. Oh. Oh sure, let me check. It's a pistol. Any good? Not really, no. It has a chance to cause explosions. That sounds pretty awesome. That is pretty cool. <gasps> Well, that was certainly a jump and a half. It certainly was. Can you decide on a quest? <laughs> oh, did you see that dodge? Fuck yeah. Oh, <laughs> that was close. Okay, right, Danny. I will find the evidence you find the crates. Isn't that the same? What no. Headshot. I found a crate, by the way. That's the stuff being stuck, first of all. Headshot! Headshot! One crate left. Do you know where that last crate is? Probably up there. Nope, not up here. You should stay down there. Ah, the evidence. Daddy, you need to see what's in this evidence. Okay, give me a sec. It's a surprise, Kyle! Oh shit. Are you on my head? Huh? Ah, I shot you. You dirty bastard. Do you know where we parked the car? Over here. Where is over here? Over by the other building. Can you define that a bit more? Mm, no. Ah, oh, fuck, wrong seat. Yeah, this is a disgusting seat. I'm just turning the car around. Then I don't need you to turn the car <laughs> around, that's my job. Dude, stop! <laughs> I just want to get in the driver's seat. Gunner. Here we go. There we go. This fits me way better. Uh, There's enough space for me up here. Oh, yes! This is the one. I don't know. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Turned the car around, yeah. How's this thing not taking damage? Fuck it. Oh, time to get that booze. 
Whoa. I'm living in the 21st. Finish the song. Country. Okay, here's here's a great question. You're working in an S and M store, okay? Wow, why am I working in an S and M store? <laughs> why not? Where are we going? Apparently out here. What over to that like little to mountain? The, the treacherous landing. No, that mountain looks pretty cool. Okay, yeah. So you're working in an S and M store, and some man comes up to you. With a 50 inch spiky dildo and a whip, and asks you if he can test them out, what do you say? Go away. <laughs> you can't You can't say go away, you have to, you know, end the in a professional manner. I'm not a professional. Oh, come on, what would you say to that man with a 50 inch deal? <laughs> that whatever he does with his anus is in his own business. Well, who's saying he's doing it with his anus? Maybe he's doing it with someone else's. Well, that's none of my business. But you're an S&M store worker now, so... It's still none of my business. But what, like, what if he, what like, asked you... To do? What if he said, like, Danny? Please help me test it out. I would not. I'm not hit that guy. What if he asked you really politely? He was like, please. I'm desperately in need of someone to test it out with me. And that's still none of my business. What if he paid you? No. A lot of money. No. Millions and millions. So much money, you drown in it. I want to click on it. It's green and shiny. Okay, okay, okay. I'll get it. I know what you would do. You would, you would try it out, wouldn't you? <laughs> right, right. Danny, help me click on this. I don't know what to do with it. Click on what? Look, it's green and shiny and glowy. That's no, not. It is. Not for me. Oh, for me it is. You know what? That's because you haven't had enough bondage. Right, that's the reason. Yes. Over here. This looks like a cool place to go. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. You know that Rihanna song? Probably not. It's about S and M. <laughs> no. Well, you should listen to it because that's that's what you, that's going to be like playing twenty four seven in your S and M store that you have. That I randomly acquired via completely un. You you torrented it. That's what you did. <laughs> I torrented a store. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! That's some powerful internet. Yeah. Well, I use the three D printer as well. I hope it doesn't rain or your buildings might fall down. <laughs> but you know, in life, you've just got to make these kind of sacrifices, wouldn't you agree? I mean, if you really want to run the S&M store, then you have to just accept that it's going to rain and ruin everything. You never should have come here, now you're going to pay. Oh, you died. That's a shame. What do we even want to do for a career? I don't know. You, you can't not know forever. 
This is true, but so far I do not know. You must have some indication. Of what you want to do. Oh, we're I dare you to walk out there and see what happens. Then I dare you, you've been dead. Well, this is my last warning. That is not aiming at me. Maybe you need to go a bit further. It's still not aiming at me, it's aiming beside me. And while it's focused on me, you can probably just run out there. <laughs> okay. <all right. laughs> the what? It's focused on me. You run out there. No, it's focused on me. Look. No, it's on me. Oh, it's got multiple beams. It's separate then, because I can't see it aiming at you. I can't see. It just. I think it's shooting, but it's not doing very well. It just disintegrated me. Oh. <laughs> this disintegrated you too. <laughs> well, it was aiming at me, but it wasn't doing very well. <laughs> and after a while, I just kind of respawned. Yeah. It must have hit you with its super powerful invisible laser beam. <laughs> yeah. Because the, the turrets were shooting, but they weren't hitting. Don't worry. Can you tell your mum I don't like her because she smells like dog shit in the Sunday afternoon? Danny, why are you the only person? Why a Sunday afternoon? Why are you the only person in the world that doesn't have a job? I'm not. You are. No. Yeah. I might be the only one of your friends, or whatever, but. Even Ryan has a job. He has a job of sleeping. <laughs> sleeping is not a job. <laughs> it is for him. Oh, yeah. Did you apply for that thing where you had to sleep for like three days? Three, yeah. three months? Whatever. Why is my car blue now? What the fuck is going on? This is so random. Why do you keep changing the color of my fucking car? I'm not changing. <laughs> Someone's changing the fucking colors. Look, in, I should be able to get through this gap. I've got through gaps yeah, smaller. There's, there's a wall. There's no fucking wall here. There's an invisible wall. When I'm finished with that invisible wall, it ain't gonna be invisible. It's dead. I got the car through. Brum, I'm on my car. Brum, 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 Right. There were some great car sounds, you've got to admit, you haven't seen car sounds like that before. <laughs> Crapper map? <laughs> I want a crapper map. That sounds awesome. Danny, I need a crapper map. <laughs> it's a crapper map. Quick, if we get through the no smoking sign, they can't follow us. Seems like they can. No, they really can't. They just it disintegrate if they come through here. So he told you. Danny, jump up. Don't talk to him. Jump up and they're just coming down. He doesn't have a head. Body. Yeah, I told you to talk in Danish, you Danish yeah, speaking lady. I'm up to do that for the champagne. Oh damn, you're well, not pulled off by your mum. Oh yeah, you tell him off, okay. madam, woman, manny, mum, manny, mum. <laughs> yeah, you fucking own here, your little son. Yeah, you tell him how to put his... 
life into his life. Oh, yeah, you fuck him <laughs> on. Well done, Danny's mum. Well done. Should we end the episode? No. I've got three minutes. Oh. What? Did you see that bounce? Super jump. I know, that was amazing. You asshole. <laughs> Danny, look out your window. What do you see? A black man in a tin, tin pansy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. Can I shake, 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 shake everywhere? We've got a quest handed in here. She has a quest. She wants us to investigate the bounty board and find Mr. John. Oh, your mum's back. She's like, hey, Danny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You can end the episode now, go on, I'll let you. There's seven skill points. <laughs> Shit, oh next time. Well, be a bit nicer. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and other stuff. If you don't, I will find you, and I will fucking kill you. I thought you sent me to, told me to be nicer. Oh, yeah, sorry. And now you're all mad. I'm not mad, I'm pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice day.